Um, hey, Ufi. Um, after three games in eight days, how beneficial has it been to have a full week to prepare for Melbourne City tomorrow? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a good week. Uh, the boys have prepared well this week. We gave them a couple of days off after our, our last game. So, you know, they come back in uh, mentally fresh and physically fresh as well and, and ready to go. And, you know, we know the, the big challenge we have uh, on Monday evening. And um, what's the status of um, Stephen Taylor and, and Reno? Uh, Tails won't be available for the game uh, on Monday evening. Uh, at, at this stage, Reno is touch and go, but I, I believe highly unlikely to be available as well. Um, so what's the go with, um, with Taylor's injury? Tails had a grade one strain in his quad, so he'll, he'll miss uh, probably a couple of weeks at this stage. Uh, but he's, he's tracking well. He's been on feet the last couple of days, which is good news for us, and uh, might bring him back a little bit earlier. But at the same time, we need to be cautious as well that we don't bring him back too early. Yeah, um, I guess, you know, it was a, a couple of games in a few days that he played. Was there any kind of, you know, regret kind of, you know, was it too much, I guess, to ask for him coming back to, to play as much? I know he would have wanted to, to be out. Yeah, if you know Tails, Tails is not going to back down out of a challenge. And, uh, you know, we, we always uh, pose a question and we speak to the players and we look at their well-being as well. And, and he, he, he felt good and he felt uh, good enough to be involved in that game. But uh, unfortunately, and after 10 minutes, he, he felt what he felt and had to come off. Yeah, and, um, you know, Josh um, hadn't played in a few weeks, but, you know, put in a pretty good performance against MacArthur. How much of a headache does that give you, you know, even with Taylor not there? I guess, you know, Liam and, and Tim both had a pretty good partnership as well. Yeah, it's, it's a good headache. I think the, the hardest thing for us this season is not having that consistency in our back line. It's, it's hurt us a lot with players coming in and out. Uh, you know, and I believe I'm a big believer in consistency. And, and you notice that when we did have the, the same back line for two, three weeks in a row, we got some uh, some good results. So I think that's probably one, one, of the, uh, one of the biggest issues that we've had this season. Do you have any indication yet of which, you know, pairing of those three you're likely to go with? <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, at the moment, uh, you know, the ones that are available are Teata Fai and, and Josh Laws, you know. Uh, at the moment, Liam's still out with the uh, with the shoulder injury. He's got no contact at the moment. You know, he's, he's doing his own program uh, with our physios at the moment. So, you know, it's either going to be T or, or Josh Laws who steps up. So what's the go with Tim Payne? Is he injured as well? No, no Tim Payne's available. You're asking me who's going to uh, go, go alongside Tim. So it's either or. All right. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> I didn't realise he was locked into the start as well. Well, Tim, um, Tim, Tim's done a done a. I think he's done a fantastic job. You know, he's uh, he's. Uh, I don't think, you know, he's played as a central defender before, but I still think he's a, he's a good uh, right fullback. He's explosive. He can go up and down up and down that line. And but at this at this stage, we've had to use him as a central defender with uh, you know the the injuries that we've had. Yeah, and because with Josh, he obviously got injured and, um, you know, in a previous interview I did with him, he revealed how many ankle injuries he's, he's had in the past. Is it a case of when he does get injured, he just needs a bit of time to build the confidence back up to, to come back in? Yeah, it's, it's not, not, I don't think it's just the confidence. It's also strengthening that ankle at times as well. But uh, I think his ankles uh, held up well. And like you said, he, he played a decent uh, 80 minutes the other day against MacArthur. And, and, you know, we've got another session today and we'll see how they both go and we'll make a decision for, for tomorrow's game. Yeah, and looking back on the last game, you know, it was just kind of, I guess, one, you know, one moment of switching off or one kind of slip up that kind of ended up being a, a defeat. How crucial was it to, you know, make sure you... I guess, are you in a position where you can't afford to switch off against a team like Melbourne City with McLaren <laughs> and Craig now? No, you can't. They're, for me, even though they lost their last game against Western United, I think they're the, they're the informed team uh, currently within the competition. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a very fluid team. They play some really good attacking football and they've got some really good players that can hurt you. So, for us, I, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for our players and a great challenge to, to step up and, show, and showcase themselves and show what they can actually do. Because... I still believe we're a great footballing team. Uh, I still believe we've played some really good football this season at times. But uh, like I said, we the inconsistency of, of plays being in and out has hurt us this season. Cool. That's everything I need. Cheers for that. Thank you. Hey, Ophi, just a quick one from me, mate. Um, how important is this game in the context of your season? With finals still, you know, in the hunt, um, in, in the finals hunt, how important is a win tomorrow night? Uh, very important. I think uh, there's 34 points still up for grabs. You know, uh, there's still a lot of points there to 
to win. So for us, you know, we we need to go on a run now of, of three, four games of, of winning games to to put ourselves in the hunt again. So like I said, it's a great occasion. We're playing against a team that's uh, playing some really good football, and and we try to play a certain brand of football as well. And I think it'll be a great game uh, tomorrow evening. And for me, we we focused on from day uh, from from the first day back at training after our last game against Macarthur and how the importance of this game is for us.